Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this boolean function and we have been asked to find the minimum number of two input NAND gates are required to realize this boolean expression. So first of all, what we will do? We will realize this boolean expression using the AND, OR and the NOT gate. So here, this A dot B bar C can also be written as this A C dot B bar, right? So let us realize this boolean expression using the AND, OR and the NOT gate. So here, using this AND gate, the AND operation of this A and C is performed. Similarly, to get this B bar, this B signal is passed through the NOT gate. And then, the AND operation of this A C and the B bar is performed using the AND gate. Now, if we want to perform the same thing using the two input NAND gates, then what we can do? We can replace each logic gate with the equivalent NAND implementation. So we know that by connecting the both inputs of the NAND gate, it can be used as a inverter. And similarly, this is how it can be used as a AND gate. So let us replace each logic gate with the corresponding NAND implementation. So as you can see, this AND gate is replaced with these two NAND gates, while this inverter has been replaced by this NAND gate. And once again, these two NAND gate corresponds to AND gate. So after the first NAND gate, we will get this A dot C whole bar and this second NAND gate will act as a inverter. That means after that, we will get this AC. Likewise, after this third NAND gate, we will get this B bar. So when it is passed through this fourth NAND gate, then we will get this A dot C dot B bar whole bar. And when it is passed through the fifth NAND gate, then we will get this A dot C B bar. So that is how we will get our required boolean function using these NAND gates. So as you can see, we require total 5 NAND gates. So this is the conventional way by which we can find the minimum required NAND gates to implement the given boolean function. Now we can also find the minimum required NAND gates just by looking the boolean expression itself. So let us see that. So here, let us write the same expression in the different way. So it can be written as this AC dot B bar. Now we know that to implement this AND operation of A and C, we require total two NAND gates, right? Likewise, to implement this inverting operation, we require one NAND gate. And once again, to perform the AND operation between this AC and the B bar, once again, we require two NAND gates. So in this way, total we require five NAND gates. So in this way, just by looking at the Boolean expression, we can also find the required number of two input NAND gates. So in this way, to implement this Boolean expression, we require minimum five NAND gates. And therefore, for the given question, this C is the correct answer.